What is ETHW? Have you ever wondered if there are alternate universes with the same stuff as the world we live in? Well, the idea sounds like a hoax, until you realize that it happens all the time with crypto. Similar to creating an alternate universe, a crypto fork occurs when we create a copy of a blockchain and make some changes to it. Ethereum Proof of Work, aka ETHW, is a fork of the mainstream Ethereum, and in this video we will discuss the details of ETHW, how it works, how it was formed, how it's mined, and finally compare it to Ethereum Classic. So what on earth is a crypto fork? As we explained earlier, a crypto fork occurs when we create a copy of a blockchain and make some changes to it. Think of it this way. Imagine you had a job at a chocolate factory, but you and the other workers just didn't like the way that things were being done. As a result, you all came together and started a new factory with similar equipment, processes and products, but with some new rules that you all agreed upon. This is essentially what a crypto fork is. When a group of people in the crypto community don't like the way that things are going, they will fork the blockchain and create a new one with their own rules. Before we dive into the details of ETHW mining and how it works, we need to know what type of fork it is. Now, there are two types of forks, hard forks and soft forks. A hard fork is when the new blockchain is not compatible with the old blockchain, which means that the old blockchain will no longer be supported or updated. This is exactly what happened in our previous example, where you and the other workers completely abandoned the previous factory. On the other hand, a soft fork is when the new blockchain is still compatible with the old blockchain. This means that developers won't have to start from scratch and can still use the old blockchain's infrastructure. In our example, this would be like if you and the other workers decided to keep working at the old factory, but just ask the boss to change a few things about it. So which type of fork is ETHW? ETHW is a hard fork of Ethereum, and it was created because Ethereum was about to move from a proof-of-work consensus mechanism to a proof-of-stake mechanism. It was created by miners and Ethereum purists who wanted to keep Ethereum as a proof-of-work blockchain. This would enable them to keep mining Ethereum and earn rewards for their work. But how does Ethereum proof-of-work work? Proof-of-work work? <laughs> proof is a consensus mechanism, so to understand how Ethereum proof-of-work works, you must know how consensus mechanisms function in crypto. Let's explain this with an analogy. Think of the blockchain as a database that stores information. Like all databases, there must be a system put in place to help govern it. This could be a person, a government, an algorithm, or your school teacher in the case of a school's database. The idea is that an entity has to be responsible for adding, deleting, and maintaining the records. In the case of crypto, its database of the blockchain, like we call it, works like a distributed ledger. This means that it is self-governing since multiple people can add to it and there is no central authority. So how do we determine who gets to add the next block of information? This is where consensus mechanisms come in. A consensus mechanism is a protocol or a set of rules that people in a network must follow in order to add blocks or information to the blockchain. Okay, so now that you know what a consensus mechanism is, let's talk about Ethereum's proof-of-work consensus mechanism. A proof-of-work is a system that consumes effort or energy to determine legitimate or fake users of computing power. This sounds complex, so let's just break it down a little. The way this works is that the miners or the validators on the ETHW blockchain will use their computers to solve complex mathematical problems. As the name implies, the ETHW blockchain contains blocks which are then verified and added to the ETHW network's chain. The first miner or validator to solve the problem gets to add the next block of information or transactions to the blockchain and in return they are rewarded with ETHW coins. Every block here contains multiple transactions and new blocks are added to the previous block, which make it a chain and gives us the ETHW blockchain. This entire process of validating blocks and earning rewards is called mining and is usually facilitated by mining software. In the case of ETHW, I personally use T-Rex. ETHW mining is a very new venture and it can be done using either an ASIC miner or a GPU miner. We'll discuss these in detail in the future. 
At the moment, several mining pools have already been created for new miners. Most notably, Binance now allows users to mine Ethereum proof of work via the Binance pool. One thing to note, however, is that although ETHW is a fork of Ethereum, they are two very different coins. As a result, you will need to create a separate wallet for your ETHW coins. Speaking of ETHW, the mining process hasn't been profitable for the most part due to high costs and the low dollar value of the token itself. This has been a major setback for the ETHW community. Okay, so far we've talked about Ethereum forks, what ETHW is, why it was created and the details of its proof-of-work consensus mechanism. Now let's compare Ethereum POW to Ethereum Classic. If you don't know what Ethereum Classic is, it's essentially the original Ethereum blockchain which was forked to create the mainstream Ethereum that we have today. We have a full video covering this, so you may want to check that out. Okay, so Ethereum Proof of Work and Ethereum Classic vary based on two factors. The first is the utility, the second is the circumstances surrounding their creation. And starting with the first point, which is utility, Ethereum Classic is also called ETC and it has lots of use cases, while Ethereum Proof of Work is the exact opposite. At the moment, lots of dApps have been built on Ethereum Classic because it has smart contracts functionality. This has expanded the use cases for ETC and made it more attractive to developers. On the other hand, ETHW has very few use cases, as most of the dApps built on Ethereum have not migrated to ETHW. As controversial as this may sound, ETHW has little to no utility right now and is still struggling to find its place in the cryptoverse. The low number of use cases is due to the fact that it was created very quickly by miners like Chandler Guo and not much development has gone into it. The second difference between Ethereum Classic and ETHW is the circumstances surrounding their creation. This is important because it has affected the adoption of both cryptocurrencies. Ethereum Classic is the original Ethereum blockchain from which mainstream Ethereum was formed. After a DAO hack in 2016, the Ethereum Foundation created Ethereum by forking Ethereum Classic. The main reason for this was to reverse the effects of the hack. But some people ensured Ethereum Classic remained to preserve the original vision of Ethereum, which is to create an immutable and truly decentralized blockchain. On the other hand, ETHW was created under different circumstances. It was mostly formed by miners who didn't want to switch to the new Ethereum proof-of-stake algorithm. However, this has led to a lot of fear, uncertainty and doubt about the project. When compared to ETC, ETHW seems to exist for the miners and those who are interested in short-term profits. However, this could change in the future. So, the final question is, what does the future hold for ETH proof of work? Despite its infancy and controversial beginning, we cannot completely rule out ETHW, because the world of cryptocurrencies is so large and unpredictable. To determine whether or not this project would be right for you, here are three things that you can look out for. The first is new features like compatibility with different exchanges, mining pools and essentially everything that will make it easier to mine, trade and use ETHW. The second factor is an improvement in the mining process. At the moment, mining ETHW isn't significantly profitable and lots of people, including myself, have lost money doing so. A profitable mining process could encourage more miners to join the ecosystem and this is much needed since ETHW uses a proof of work consensus mechanism. Again, the mining process is also discouraged by the low price of ETHW, so there is indeed a long way to go in this regard. Finally, you need to look out for ETHW's utility in the future. At the moment, the project is plagued by a lack of Oracle support, low liquidity and compatibility issues. For example, USDC and Tether have officially confirmed intentions to exclusively support the Ethereum merge. This makes it even more difficult for ETHW to thrive. With all that we've discussed, you're probably thinking that ETHW is bad and Ethereum is great? Well, not so fast. Ethereum has successfully merged but is now faced with increasing centralization under its new proof-of-stake consensus model. Click on this video to learn all you need to know about Ethereum's centralization problem and how it affects you.